Hi, everyone. I'm here with Erez, um, a student of our course. And uh, if you're ready, Erez, I will start asking you some questions about the course. So if you're ready, I'll sure, start our first question. OK, so can you give a brief description of your musical background in general? What musical genres are you into the most? What instruments do you play and so on? Yeah, so uh, I play guitar, like I play since high school, but just like a basic playing. And I think it's for the last uh, few years, I've been trying to maybe take it to the next level. Um, I'm starting with a guitar teacher. I recently also bought a piano, but I'm really just like uh, beginning with it. Uh, and uh, I, I did try to uh, like develop uh, or I tried some different applications for e-training. Uh, I, I tried both like stuff that are uh, based on the uh, interval method, but also uh, the functional e-trainer. And you know, I was just using them like, uh, I don't know, while I'm on bus or like uh, when I have time for a few months, I had several uh, uh, periods of time when I focused on it. Uh, I did gain some improvement in uh, uh, recognizing uh, mel melodic uh, uh, lines, but I did not get nearly at all any uh, improvement recognizing harmony. Okay, so um, you just told a bit, you, I mean, you asked this next question in, in this, um, in the first answer you gave us. But so can you explain a bit more your process for developing your musical hearing skills prior to using Use Your Ear? Yeah, definitely. So uh, I think the, the only application that did help me uh, a little was another little, just gave me the, some basics where functional ear training it goes uh, in some similar uh, method in, in the, uh, in the aspect that it also that does not rely on uh, recognizing uh, intervals and uh, uh, I don't know counting if it's a major third or whatever it, it teaches you how to uh, hear a note and like and I then from the from a given uh, uh, a given scale it also plays the cadence uh, before the cadence of a uh, uh, of one four five one to give you the like a stronger uh, uh, idea of where the tonic is, okay. and then it teaches you if you it's like a game when you uh, I don't know guess the wrong note so uh, it shows you it's wrong and then it plays uh, uh, the resolution to the tonic so uh, the, you you start like repeating it and then you like, like let's say it says do and you do like fa mi re do and you're singing okay. with it and it, it's and in some point you just feel it like it's far without being uh, without the need to sing it all the all the resolution to the uh, to the tonic note exactly so and that was the main thing you you find helpful uh, you found helpful in the past yes so like it gave me like uh, really the basic uh, ability to uh, even a uh, uh, identify what I'm hearing uh, melodically and like try to uh, uh, transcribe it but it, it has like a limit because uh, it couldn't like uh, uh, the, the like the the notes that it would play would be kind of random and it didn't really feel like music and once yeah. everything uh, played in a real uh, music context it feels just different so it wasn't like a, a that uh, helpful for me so it gave me to a certain it, it, it did take me to a certain point but uh, i felt like it has like some limit and uh, definitely regarding uh, like uh, uh, harmonic uh, intervals or, pro or co progressions it has like nothing to uh, help you tackle this issue okay so but you also told us that you uh, tried out the interval method, right? Pre prior to using this app. Yeah, I hated it. I felt like it's uh, it's not gradual at all. Like I, I didn't understand like how it's supposed to uh, even work. Like uh, the fact that they would change like the tonal context every uh, every uh, uh, every uh, like 
interval. Every interval, it, it made no sense for me. And, uh, and only while, while, like after I used the functional ear trainer, I understood why. Because, uh, for example, in functional ear trainer, when, when they want to teach you to switch between a, a major context first, like they would play the cadence every, every time and, like, and, let you, and you become faster in it. But I, I didn't even understand like how should I do it really quick just to begin with the, with the interval method. It just didn't make sense for me. Uh, I did uh, try uh, because the functional ear training didn't, does not tackle chords at all. So after I got to some level with the functional ear trainer, I went back to the other applications and tried to identify if it's a major chord or a minor chord and like hearing uh, triads. Uh, okay. uh, and um, but it was uh so what, you you were mostly training a uh, chord quality recognition so yeah right is it okay uh and you didn't fail to help it helpful you didn't feel I, I i could uh, i i did become a bit better in telling if it's a major or minor but okay. i just couldn't see how this helps me uh like transcribe music or okay like, it wasn't uh, functional in any way and when i got to like uh chords with uh, four notes, like with the seventh de degree, yeah. it, it just went like, uh, yeah. I didn't get any of it, like it was too difficult. Okay, so can you talk a bit mo uh, more about uh, what challenges and problems were you experiencing that led uh, you to search for a solution after trying out uh, these apps? Yeah, so I felt like the process isn't uh, clear enough. I couldn't see like how uh, anything, any exercise that I do is like building a new ability towards the goal that I'm trying to achieve. Okay. And, and I like the, I wanted to see like a, a, a like a normal or a, like a really set plan from the, beginning like from the building block blocks towards like the most advanced uh, skills and uh, understand how i can like most efficiently develop the ability to actually use these uh, skills in a real musical context so i think the 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 main point is uh, it wasn't gradual and it wasn't and i could like felt like kind of random like Okay, and you felt that being uh, easily applicable to real musical context, or um, you, yeah, I mean, cool. you you had a few issues applying everything to real music. Is that what yeah. you're? Okay, so uh, okay, that's uh, pretty uh, exhaustive. So uh, next question is, how did you hear about Use Your Ear? I just saw your, uh, uh, your, uh, how do you say? Forgot your advertisement in a, yeah. you targeted me in a YouTube okay. video. And what you said that, like, I felt like you identified the problem really quick. And I felt like it's true. Like, uh, interval method just doesn't work uh, that good. And, and then I saw, I watched like the one hour uh, yeah. uh, lesson or, a lecture that you provide uh, over there and then like I uh, I thought maybe maybe I should try before I uh, bought the course which was kind of first uh, I, maybe I don't know if you wanted me to say it on the on here but I did uh, like just wanted to see it's not some sort of scam or something yeah so I, yeah uh, it's fine you can you, can, wrote, you uh, can tell what 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 you were thinking. yeah so I wrote use your ear uh, scam or something like that in Google and I got to uh, do you hear me I feel like, ah, all right. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, and I got to some Reddit uh, uh, page where people... Yeah, uh, I, saw, I saw it, I saw yeah, it. I'm sure, I'm sure. So uh, people have been talking if it's a scam or not. <laughs> and, and I wrote, like, and I just read all the comments over there and it felt like they just don't understand. Like, <laughs> yeah. they, they don't, they didn't have, like, even one uh, uh, real, uh, like, uh, uh, practical humans. Why, yeah, like, what, like, why wouldn't the, your method uh, work? And and it felt like just like musicians that just like to uh, uh, I don't know like they've been uh, educated in some way and like they can't uh, uh, see anything else. And there was this one guy over there that uh, that did mention that he bought the course and it's 
only in the and he is he was only on the beginning but he said like uh, it seems uh, serious to him and that uh, it might be a bit uh, overpriced but uh, it, it looks uh, it looks good and yeah. uh, at that point I felt like all right I know enough uh, I think I think Leonardo's method is actually he understands the problem so uh, I hope okay. So, so it, you th- you thought it was worth trying, okay? Yeah. Basically. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, how long had you been looking for a solution before you found this method? It's really difficult to answer because I quitted it a few times in my past. Like uh, I started, and then like it felt like I, I'm never gonna accomplish it, so I just uh, left it aside for sometimes it could be months. So. So uh, from where you started the first time to... I think uh, it was uh, four years ago. I was in this exchange okay. student in Australia, and that's where I started the uh, first time with, uh, uh, with uh, the mobile apps. And I also, uh, my guitar teacher is also like giving me tips uh, on uh, ear training, and I've been uh, teaching YouTube a lot. So it, it comes in a, a, like in a periods, like so, sometimes it's... Yeah. Uh, they do it sometimes not, but uh, so on and off, I've been looking it for, for it for a few years, I think. Okay, like and, and to actually un- understand how to develop it in a gradual way. Okay, and uh, when you subscribed to the course, you remember roughly? Yeah, yeah a month ago. A month ago, okay. Um, okay, so, um, so you, you previously uh, answered uh, this question, but I don't know if there's maybe something you want to add. What were the criteria you used when making the decision of signing up to the course? You saw the, the, the Reddit thing, saw the guy that was yeah. telling that is it's, it's a serious course. And then there was something else that popped yeah, up. Yeah, uh, from my experience, I, I really... Uh, Thought that it's true that interval method uh, doesn't work, and uh, and I did know that uh, the approach that uh, relies more in a uh, like finding a tonic and then uh, hearing how notes uh, relates to the tonic worked better for me. And then I felt like, all right, this method is like doing the same, but with also also with a, a harmonic uh, progressions or whatever how you call it. So. Uh, it felt like something that would be achievable for me. So I wanted to, and actually, yeah, like another thing that happened f- to me in the past was that I, I did gain some progress in this uh, method of uh, the functional ear trainer. And then my guitar teacher told me uh, it's bad habit and stop it and use the uh, interval method. So I stopped and uh, like when I got to your uh, advertisement, I was like, no, the, my guitar teacher was wrong. <laughs> uh, this is actually the method. And, uh, and that, that's was, that was my main criteria, that uh, it, it uses something that I already know that works for me in a way. So Yeah. Okay. So you've been following the usual year course for about a month. And what type of goals do you want to accomplish with this method? Well, uh, it's a big question. I really want to, first of all, listen to music better. I want to know what I'm hearing, uh, being able to identify chord progressions in a more instinctive way, Um, like being able to transcribe music, play uh, play music by ear, uh, also improve my my, uh, both uh, singing and uh, I forgot the, the English word for it, but uh, improvising music. Okay. All of those uh, stuff I wanted to to improve. Them. Okay. And so what was the most obvious advantage you felt that the usual ear method offered compared to other methodologies? The So I, I mentioned a lot of it uh, previously, but yeah. I will quickly recap. The first thing, I think it's really gradual. It takes you from the most... Uh, uh, basic uh, exercise you could think of, which would be just a match, matching pitch, like seeing a note, uh, a given note, and being able to uh, to sing the right note. And yeah. then, like it takes you step by step to the more advanced uh, skills, and like 
uh, and you could, can really see like how every exercise that you do is building some ability that you will uh, you will use later on in order to proceed to the to the more advanced skills. So this is, I think, the 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 way it's structured and the gradual uh, approach is uh, something the course is really uh, uh, characterized by, and I like I like it. Uh, I forgot I need you to uh, maybe repeat the question once again. Oh, yeah, the, the most obvious advantages that you felt. And the second one, off. yeah, so the second one was uh, uh, just the entire idea that we, we hear music uh, uh, in relation with some existing uh, tonal uh, center. Uh, I felt like, all right, this has got to be true. And, uh, <laughs> and like, so every... Like, and also, like the, the the job you did by, uh, I don't know, uh, showing the scientific uh, uh, like uh, researchers, the scientific yeah. around that you know. It's all right, it's not just like some. Uh, everyone has approach. Everyone thinks they know the best. But it, it felt like it's not just like uh, another guy that has any has his own uh, his own opinion. Like it, I felt like you. Uh, it's really like uh, something that uh, uh, I could work with. So this is also, yeah, as I mentioned, like uh, uh, identifying everything uh, in relation with a given uh, tonal con uh, tonal uh, center. That's the okay. second. That, that's that's great. So um, were there uh, any other advantages you discovered after following this method regularly? I mean, in your playing or something like something that you didn't expect people have been asking me if i if i started to take uh, singing lessons oh <laughs> like uh, vocal uh, lessons maybe because you just use your singing a lot uh, you're matching pitches you're uh, you're uh, singing scales and then like i guess like your internal uh, uh, perception of each note or each pitch is better and then in a way you sing better so uh, yeah yeah, that's, because, that's because, unexpected. because intonation, vocal intonation is not only dependent on, um, I mean, breathing technique and vocal technique is also dependent from, you know, your internalization of the tonal framework and these, the feeling that the notes has, uh, have, and in general, uh, working on the internalizing the tonal context, the tonal framework as you're doing, as you do, you're forced to do in the course, basically. Uh, helps you better uh, remember the melodies and better um, hit the right note um, when you're singing without thinking, without, oh, am I singing the right note? No, you feel that you're, sing you're singing the right note or you feel that you need to take the pitch on slightly up or slightly down till it sounds good, okay? So it, it's it's because of that. And other people are telling that, but it's it's... It's good that you that someone noticed that. So uh, that's great. And so by following the course, have you noticed any reduced effort or boredom in your your training practicing routine? Yeah, I mean, I'm like it's still like a lot of work, and like it could take uh, I don't know, like no one tells you like how much it could take. It could take yeah. a lot. And a lifetime. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> if like, you want, you can improve. You can get infinitely better. So it, it yeah, exactly. Okay. So and this is also like something that uh, I need to keep reminding myself. But uh, but uh, yeah, like, I I feel like uh, I, I I forgot the question. Yeah, yeah. Second. If you notice any reduced effort or boredom compared to what you were. Trying yeah, it's frustrating because like uh, it's gradual. If I, I get to a level where I I don't uh, uh, some exercise is too complex, you get back to the previous exercises and you try to do them in a more uh, let's say uh, automatic uh, uh, level. So all right, you you say to yourself, okay, maybe I should spend some more time here on this exercise that I'm already doing quite well, but trying to do it faster or something like yeah. that. And only, only by the end, like when I get to uh, a good result, then moving forward to the next exercise. So it's less frustrating, and like you really see, like 
it does get better from week to week. I'm also like writing my uh, scores in uh, some exercises and uh, I write the dates uh, next to them. So I can always like go back to in my, uh, in my notebook and like just see, okay, a week ago I had uh, five mistakes in a certain, uh, I don't know, code progression and now I have only one. Or, so it feels uh, that it gets better. Okay, so, and you're just talking about this. So uh, have you noticed by following this course, have you noticed any improvements in your musical hearing skills? And if so, what? Yeah, so uh, it's it's still for me like, uh, maybe I felt like, uh, like yeah, I saw like uh, some of the uh, previous interviews you've done and I saw yeah. these guys that uh, were mentioning that uh, after a month they, they were just playing some Spotify uh, yeah. Uh, songs uh, uh, playlist and they could ident identify all chords and all so uh, I'm not there yet and like yeah. uh, it, it's also like uh, maybe uh, frustrating a little bit but I, I, I for the first time in my life no matter how much how long it takes I can recognize chord progressions if I do it step by step okay. or I play the same chord once again uh, again and again at some point, I I identify right now code progressions, I, and I was I, I was never able to do this sort of stuff. So uh, yeah. Okay, and, and and let me clarify this. Uh, we talked about this earlier. Why uh, there are some people that in a month can go from nothing to understand code progressions by ear uh, just when driving uh, their car. Okay, that happens because these people had this very good, great internalization of the tonal context of the chords, chord progressions, this, the color of the chords, the tonal color of the chord, um, the tonal color of the notes, the keys, colors, and everything like that. And they internalized it previously by singing, by playing music, by doing lots of things with music. Uh, so what happens is that they weren't able to use that that this full potential okay and what happens is that once you uh, correct their thought process okay uh, you kind of unlock their potential and so you see that they in a month can do boom and they, they can do all sorts of things uh, just because they weren't they were were thinking of intervals they were using inefficient thought processes so once you give them the medicine they can unlock it and it goes boom. Whereas um, the average student still needs to develop an internalization of uh, the tonal sound of chords, the, the keys, colors, and everything else. So it takes a bit more time. It's just like knowing a language and not know how to use it, uh, or just not knowing a language at all. You need to kind of learn the language. So it takes more time, but it doesn't matter. You can get there. Uh, in the same way, it doesn't matter. So it it will take a bit more time, but uh, it's it's the same. So that's just to clarify why you see those kind of testimonials yeah. and like not I'm everyone is in that situation. To, to like uh, find out that I'm uh, the first type of people. Like, uh, but uh, yeah, like yeah, no, no one no one knows <laughs> until yeah. until until you try. Uh, unfortunately, so it's uh, yeah. But I mean. You can get there too without any problem. You're still at a you you're still at a good starting point. I mean, you already have very good basic skills, and it's a very good starting point. So, um, again, uh, talking about improvements, is there a way in which you can measure or quantify uh, those improvements? For example, how much it takes for you to transcribe a melody or a progression compared to how you started out with, or I don't know um, uh, how many mistakes you make in an exercise compared to a month ago. Yeah, so like I can maybe try. I think I uh, I got to the course with not that bad a uh, uh, hearing of a melodic uh, line. It just it got better with the exercises. I don't know using metronome, this sort of stuff uh, for sight reading, but. Uh, but I think I this one this is like some sort of ability that I had uh, like good results to begin with, but uh, with chord progressions like it's just from zero to uh, to something because uh, like I couldn't 
I couldn't tell none or maybe only if I heard one for five. Okay. And now like I'm, I'm doing it in a slow process, not optimal, but uh, uh, like the, the last few times that I tried the code progressions of uh, uh, both in major and minor uh, Contexted a context, I got to about 78 out of 80. Uh, oh, that's that's uh, a good uh, correct uh, correct answers. Yeah, so I as we spoke uh, earlier in, a, in a, before the interview, so apparently I'm not still not doing it in the most uh, uh, optimal way, uh, yeah. not as as instinctive as I wanted to, to be. So I need to work on that. Uh, uh, by uh, working on uh, identifying the best note uh, uh, faster, but uh, but yeah, like I I could now uh, if I do it in a slow process, I could uh, identify like uh, in really high percentage uh, code progressions. Okay, and, and just to clarify, uh, you're talking about identifying code progressions by ear without the help of any instrument, right? No, so no you, instrument at all. Just yeah, me, yeah. Me you, sending and trying to identify them. You're getting 80%, almost 80% correct answers without the help of any instrument. So even more, it's 78 answers out of 80. It's uh, even more. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I, I understood um, yeah. the wrong way. Okay, so it's almost 100% correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, but, uh, yeah. that's yeah, uh, it, it for sure it will get faster with time, but it's still a good result. I mean, uh, so. Um, how do you compare this method to the previous methodology you were following in terms of efficiency? So time spent practicing versus results you noticed. I think it's highly efficient. Uh, I think like uh, you still need to uh, uh, use your uh, like uh, your mind and like understand where you have a problem someplace and not be like only like only expect uh, I don't know uh, the the, uh, the the course or uh, the structure to solve all the problems, but uh, but it it helps you like understand. All right, I'm now in this level, and the ability that I'm, the next ability that I'm, that I'm trying to develop is somewhere here. Okay, so I'm focusing on it, and I'm even thinking of my own exercises how to do it, and like, uh, but. Yeah, like uh, saying that, like I think I think it's highly efficient. Okay. I could always, uh, like, for example, I don't know, my guitar teacher sometimes we're uh, playing some something, and he says, okay, this feels like these three notes together feels like the fifth, and I have no idea what is what is he even talking about. Like, how could three notes together feel like the fifth, and even some of, one of some of them wouldn't even be in the fifth chord? So. How could, can it be? But when I see the course, uh, how it's structured, and then, okay, I, I understand, like, there's a global sensation for chord, and we can play a chord also uh, by uh, arpeggiating it, and it will still have the global sensation. Yeah. I'm starting to understand, like, what people are talking about. Yeah, and, and, and you're basically uh, talking about um, the thing that the harmonic uh, the harmonic thinking can actually be a lot helpful for the melodic thought. So you can recognize melodies by using the harmonic uh, thinking, okay? Yeah. Their harmonic thought. Uh, so by thinking in terms of chords, of in, in broader terms, not going note by note, right? Is is that what you're talking about, just to clarify? Yeah, exactly. We, we were playing some uh, classical uh, piece. And like, uh, and we also try to analyze like uh, the harmonic, uh, what's going on there, uh, harmonic, uh, harmonic wise. And then, uh, and then he was mentioning like, no, this it's gotta be, uh, I don't know, a chord E because it's it feels like fifth. And I was like, how come it feels like fifth? Like I yeah. couldn't understand what he meant, but uh, now I do. So yeah, now 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 you understand that they can bleed into each other and they can yeah. mix up together and that's uh, that takes a big part uh, of the course I mean it's it's something that I stress a lot in the course and there are multiple exercises uh, that you that you uh, started out to practice in uh, these uh, I mean a few days before starting this lesson at least because you were talking about it right so uh, that's just to clarify uh, for listeners who might not know exactly what we mean 
So anyway, um, have you found that the way of thinking suggested by this method is being effective when applied to real music? Um, I mean, do you think it's easily applicable to real music? Yeah, so I feel like I'm not, uh, not I'm not at the point that I could uh, like I could uh, that I could uh, already use it all in a real uh, musical context, but I can see really, like how it will get there, like and and some of it already in uh, in, in real musical context. I don't know now um, and identifying uh, tonics. Now I can do it in uh, every song, and I can do it uh, with high level of certainty and like uh, and. So it, with real songs and also I don't know like uh, sometimes I I used to have like I used to I wasn't sure how to treat like uh, those uh, songs where you suddenly switch to I don't know to the minor uh, uh, context or I, I I wasn't sure how to like uh, do it and now I can re I can really like uh, connect the dots and like. Uh, think both in or, or major, major or minor. Okay. Sort of the same, and I can see it, and uh, feels uh, more natural. So yeah. Okay. And how do you compare this? Um, I mean, the applicability of the way of thinking th that I suggest to the way that the interval method suggests. Uh, since you you told us that you tried it in the past. Um, I mean, do you think that the interval method method is as easily applicable to real music as no. this? Okay. No, no, definitely not. Because uh, I think you. Are, I'm just repeating stuff that I heard from you. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, we are trying to get into each question uh, a bit more in depth. And if you can add yeah, something, yeah, if you I can. mean, I mean, you you in your videos mentioned many times that. Uh, Studies show that uh, intervals uh, perceived differently if they played in, a, let's say, in low, lower spectrum or uh, yeah. higher, and and I felt like it's true, like it it, it does sound different. Uh, this method uh, um, is is not based on it, and also like I felt like uh, I'm 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 almost starting to get into the point in the course where you start to talk about the triadic colors and like listening to both like a melodic uh, uh, note and like and, and and understand how it would feel different if it would be played over a major or minor code or a different uh, uh, degrees actually in the scale and I could also see like how this would be extremely effective uh, well, by listening to real music, because if the singer sings a, a note, uh, it would sound differently if it's played over the first uh, degree or if it's played over the fifth degree. So, yeah, I could f I could see like how the method is like uh, really oriented towards real music. Okay, uh, that's great. So, uh, a few last questions. Um, and again, you will probably repeat something uh, that you already said because we talked about a lot of things. What has most impressed you about the methodology that I suggest? The structure. I think like uh, you've done excellent work and like uh, uh, it's just sort of structured in a way that it makes sense. And like sometimes it's like reading a book and like you want to see like uh, how the end would look like. So you're yeah. just going on to the to the next lessons or even to the final final lesson so I went like it's going over the syllabus and like seeing how everything is structured upon abilities that you already developed in lower uh, units or uh, previous units uh, and it feels like like all right I'm on the I'm on the right place uh, it takes me hand by hand and like uh, developing the skills all right so it takes a little more time or a little less it could be different yeah. with other people but if you just stick to it it would work so this is uh, how it Okay, and uh, okay, so that's all. I think we answered a lot of questions, so that was the last. And uh, I thank you very much for letting me uh, have the opportunity to interview, to have this interview with you. And uh, I hope you will continue uh, practicing with the course and will get a lot of improvements and achievement and you will reach the desired level in your musical hearing skills.
I hope to thanks uh, Leonardo. I think you created amazing course, and uh, it was a pleasure to uh, uh, share some of my experience with the course. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you.